Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon, and as well Gemini Rising, a weekly tarot reading October 21st to October 27th, 2019. And bear with me just a second, guys, to uh, shuffle the tarot cards. And we are to jump right into it. Alright, so the first card which stands for your uh, topic of the week, that is going to be the Ace of Cups. Followed by the next one which represents the challenges that you need to overcome here, we do have the Tree of Swords. Followed by the third one which stands for the positive aspect of the week for you, that is going to be the Queen of Cups. And then the last one here, that is the Guidance. Oh my god, what a week, Gemini. Uh, that Taro is offering, this is going to be the Tower card. Huh, oh my God. To be honest, uh, the reading is pretty straightforward, right? But um, I will do a precedent here, precedent, precedent here, and I will start with the third card because while the topic Ace of Cups is very important, the first card it is where all is starting from. And if I start with the first one and follow further down the road and I reach to the third one, I will have to backtrack a lot. So yeah, uh, this time around, we are gonna start from the third one. Let me draw two more cards, which are going to be the catalysts for the first two cards. And uh, let's start. So the Queen of Cups, which is going to be the positive aspect of your week. Now we do have a person, let me see what it's accompanied with. The Four of Cups. So positive aspect of the week, that is a person who is pretty much fed up with your self accusations that you are putting upon yourself about thinking that it was your fault, regardless about what, all right? Or uh, uh, that is a person who is pretty much fed up of your, um, how do you say when you are, uh, when you're completely miserable, uh, miserable after ending up a relationship, for example, or after losing up a job, all right? So that person, it's, it's fed up of your behavior of being a victim, of victimizing yourself. But they're not going to criticize you, not at all, all right? They're going to approach you in a very, very gentle fashion. They will try to kind of like touch your soul, if you will, and try to make you understand that they very well understand what you are what you are experiencing right now i mean what what you feel how how do you feel this is what they will try to make you see in them and therefore that is going to boost your um that is going to boost your trust 
into this person, which is a good thing because this person here can keep secrets. I mean, that person is really, really discreet. And what is the role of this person? It does have two roles. The first role is to emotionally sustain you or in other words, to never let you to fall in despair and having thoughts of, uh, of mouth of mom no, it's not like malfunction it's more like a uh, underestimating yourself and the other um the other uh reason why this person is around of a positive aspect is that they're gonna make you see that nothing is over yet in the sense of that there are so much more things for you to do. There are so much things for you to experience. Yeah, you have may have lost your job recently, all right? But that person will boost up your emotional determination to find another job. As a matter of fact, the job is gonna linger around the corner. You, you have broke up recently with your boyfriend or a girlfriend. Or that person will encourage you to start dating once again, you know? Self-pitying yourself is not going to kind of like bring anybody else around. I mean, the only thing you do by pitying yourself or being, or being, you know, uh, of, of losing a relationship is spending time alone. Do you want to spend time alone? Nobody wants to spend time alone unless you are a weirdo like me, you know, because I actually like being alone. But <clears throat> that's not the point here, right? Whatever you want and you can't have, now that person will encourage you to pick up yourself together, bring back yourself on your feet, and the only thing you gotta do is just keep walking. It's, it's all that you have to do, keep walking. And that alone is gonna provoke the topic of the week, which is the Ace of Cups. And it's going to be accompanied by the Seven of Swords. So we do have an, a passive neutrals in this particular case. And, in a, and these two cards are pointing the, um, the resurrection, I would say, of the sense of life. Like all of a sudden or slowly, progressingly, you will start seeing that life is worth living again in a sense of, uh, in a direction of this particular, uh, this particular endeavor that you have lost recently. And this loss is going to become more and more meaningless for you. As a matter of fact, it's not going to have any repercussions whatsoever, probably when the, when the, uh, when the week is, uh, is over. And even more with the Ace of uh, Cups and the Seven of Swords, <clears throat> It does look like that you have also learned a, a very, very valuable lesson back from the days. And once you realize that with the help of the Queen of Cups, because this Queen of Cups also is going to not only just support you emotionally, but as well is going to be willing to listen to you, give you certain advice, you know, or share her opinion with you. And for that reason, there are going to be certain, certain insights that you're going to have. And these insights will regard to the lesson that you have learned for the, failed, for, for the failed project, for the lost job, you know, for the failed relationship or a failed enterprise into the relationship. It doesn't really matter. What matters here it is that you're going to be grateful that you have went through that thing. You learned your lesson. And that lesson is a, a huge experience for you, Gemini, walking toward the future. Because what, what the future holds here with these two cards, it is a, a new, I, I can't say chapter, but let's say it's, I would classify it as an enterprise. I can't classify it as a beginning, but I will classify it as an enterprise, which completely substitute and um, dwarfs the previous enterprise that you did not had any luck with okay so it's a thing that pretty much transcends your reality in regards to this disappointment and what is going to be the challenge here that is going to be the uh, tree of swords and it is accompanied by the four of pentacles so the challenge itself uh, it's a uh, pretty minor with these two cards uh, the challenge is to uh, how can i say it to believe that you can ensure a um uh, how do i say it it's it's not stable future it is more it is more like a consistent future all right uh, it, the challenge itself it is to uh, take a um, a little bit of a defensive position until you heal 
from the previous relationship, from the previous um, disappointing endeavor. And like we said, <clears throat> you're gonna heal through that substitution that either that the longer you uh, cooperate with the Queen of Cups, the more convinced and the more emotionally convinced, not just logically, but as well emotionally convinced, you will, um, you will become to keep on going, to keep on living your life even uh, stronger than before. Uh, now that I'm thinking of my assistants, uh, my assistant always says that the best way how you can punish someone that betrayed you or abandoned you or whatever, you know, is to show them that there are there is life without them. Um, that that is also in regards to certain uh, to certain endeavors or on enterprises, but what these two cards here points that it will be challenging for you to um, ensure I would say stable future because you may have uh, you may have it in the back of your head that at some point something may went wrong and if you have that mentality as as well you can close yourself in your home and not. Foot, may not place a foot outside of your uh, outside of your uh, doorstep, right? You you can't approach things with that mentality at all because then nothing happens. You will never have the guts or never have the determination to try something new, which you gotta do here in this week, October twenty first to October twenty seventh. And uh, the last card here, just one second to activate my camera all right so the last card here uh, is going to be the tower card and that is the lesson that you need to learn and it is accompanied by the tree of wands oh my god i don't know how to describe this one so we do have an inactive supporters in this particular position and what these two cards are saying it is that I, it's like a rebirth, like phoenix, phoenix from the ashes, you know, the phoenix dies gets killed gets destroyed or whatever and rises again much stronger than before. So what these two cards are saying here, it is that yes, maybe your world have been shattered back in back in the days, two weeks ago, two months ago, two years ago, it doesn't really matter. What matters here, it is that now you are, uh, after you complete the transition here, you know, from poignancy, sorrow and despondency into a, a state where you look, you're looking to a brighter future, thinking of how to uh, ensure it, how to stabilize it. Then these two cards means that you now are stepping on very, very solid patterns, much more solid than before. And from now, you have to think of how to consolidate those pattern, patterns. And maybe you don't realize it, but actually, instead of, um, instead of hurting you in any way, in the long run, that is, this poignant situations, situation from back then actually made you stronger. It actually gave you what you missed in order to ensure a much brighter future. So it does look like that for you, Gemini, it is a big week coming, guys. It is a week of a, uh, a I would say, a retribution, but not towards certain person or not to, uh, not retribution, payback. And what have to pay you back, it is the karma, it is the universe, it is the divine, whatever you say, all right? You have paid the price before you get the goods. And now you are going to start seeing what the goods are for the price that you have paid. So that being said, Gemini, this was your weekly tarot reading, October 21st to October 27, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.